Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can somewhat circumvent premium connectivity by using a hotspot on your phone to hook up internet to the screen of your Tesla. So when you're away from your home Wi-Fi, you're gonna be able to use internet-based apps such as the video streaming apps, the music streaming apps, the internet browser, and karaoke. So to do this on my phone, dragging down the top screen area, once you have hotspot turned on on your phone, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is hook up our Tesla to the internet. So we can do this by clicking on the icon of the car in the bottom left-hand corner to open up our menu. We can see the internet option here in the upper right-hand corner. I have premium connectivity, so I'm connected over LTE. But clicking on this and searching for Wi-Fi, I can connect up with my cell phone. So clicking on that. And if you haven't used hotspot before and you don't know what your password is, it's pretty simple. In your hotspot settings, you just click on this arrow right here to open up your settings and then it'll show you the password that is set for your hotspot in this area. So we're gonna use that to enter in here. And it's connecting up to the hotspot and as long as you enter in the password correctly, you should get a green check mark. So now I'm hooked up to the internet through the hotspot of my cell phone to my Tesla screen. So now I can watch video through the streaming apps with the theater options. I can use the different music streaming apps like Spotify, Apple Music, etc. You can use karaoke, you can use the internet browser. So this brings some of those premium connectivity features to your Tesla vehicle if you don't have it and you just rather go through a hotspot on your phone. Now me personally, I prefer just doing premium connectivity. It comes out to about eight bucks a month if you get the full year. And not having to worry about hooking up to hotspot and making sure that's all working correctly. It's more of a seamless experience in my opinion, just using the premium connectivity plan. Also, if you're like me and you have limited data on your cell phone plan, you don't necessarily wanna be using it all the time when you're driving in these situations and premium connectivity comes in pretty clutch with those situations as well. But there are some of you out there that might not have premium connectivity that might have unlimited data on your phone and you can use that hotspot to get access to these internet-based apps and features in your Tesla vehicle when you're away from your home Wi-Fi. So it's a nice little option to have. And that's gonna wrap this one up. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.